Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all okay. This week, we've been thinking about the story, What the Ladybird Heard. Thank you for sending us your text maps. Mrs. Darby, Miss Percy and I were very impressed. Her drawings were much better than mine, so well done for that. This morning, we thought what we could do is write some sentences about things we know from the book. So have a think. What do we know? We know the cow said moo. We know the ladybird said, that's right, never a word. We know that the thieves tried to steal the fine prize cow. Have a talk with your grown-ups or your older brothers or sisters. Decide what you'd like your sentence to be. Then you need to say your sentence out loud. I'm going to have the ladybird said never a word. So we have to use our bodies. This helps us remember what we want to write. The ladybird said never a word. The ladybird said never a word. Keep practicing. When you've got it in your head, it's time to write it down. This one. The, the, I know that. That's a phase two tricky word. Easy peasy. I need a capital letter because it's the start of my sentence. The, the ladybird. The ladybird. I need a finger space. I can hear the sound. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, A, D, E. Hmm, those are some of the phonemes I've learnt this week. Ooh, A, D, Ooh, A, D, E. The lady, B, U, D. B, U, D. The ladybird, the ladybird said, Ed. I'm going to use my sound. I can do this independently. I'm an independent iguana. That's what you need to be thinking. The ladybird said, uh, the ladybird said, the ladybird said, never a word. Never. Don't forget those finger spaces. Mm, uh, mm, uh, never. The ladybird said, never. to go back to my body movements to help me remember the last part of my sentence the ladybird said never a word word w uh, d. i've done it I'm going to check the l a d e b u d ladybird said said n -e -v -e, never a word word. <gasps> Can you see what I've forgotten? Full stop. End of a sentence needs a full stop. Parents, remember at this stage of early writing, we are using our sounds that we've learned. We haven't learned all of the graphemes yet, so the children will not necessarily spell these words correctly. That's okay. What we're after is children using their phonics knowledge to sound out the words and write them independently. So, guys, have a go. Be prepared to impress us. We cannot wait. Send it on your dojo portfolio to Mrs. Darby, Miss Piercy and I. Have a super, super day. See you later. Bye-bye.